Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Everyday. Today I have a quick PC building tutorial for you. We're gonna be showing you how to install this power supply or PSU into this PC case. We'll show you how to do the installation as well as do the cable connections to the motherboard and the GPU. It's really quite simple to do. We'll show you this step by step. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. Now, if you are interested in any of the components I'm using in this build, I will have them all linked below in the description. But let's go ahead and take off our side panel. So I have a side door that just slides off and you can go ahead and remove the back panel as well on your PC case. So let's figure out which cables we need to plug into our power supply. This is a fully modular power supply. So that means we're only gonna plug in the cables that we're gonna use for our build. You might have a semi-modular power supply, which has the standard cables coming out of it, and then you just add on the ones you're gonna use. Or there's a non-modular power supply, which just has a whole ton of cables coming out of it, and all of them are attached. So let's have a look here at my motherboard and see which cables we need. First off, we need the 24 pin ATX cable that plugs in right here. We need the CPU power that's up here. There's an eight pin that goes up there and there's actually two of them on this motherboard. So I need two of those connectors. Some motherboards will only have one. So just depending on your motherboard. I also need a PCIe connector for my graphics card here. So if you have a graphics card, you'll need that. This one is an eight pin. PCIe connector and some graphics cards may have two of those. So um, I've got one. If you have two, you'll need two cables to run for that. So the other cable we're gonna need is a SATA cable to give power to my lighting hub here for my ARGB lighting in the system. That plugs in right here. Um, so if you have one of those, you'll probably need a SATA cable. Now, if you're also running a hard drive or solid state drive mounted in here, you're gonna need a SATA cable for that as well. And um, I'm not gonna be putting this in here, but if you do have that, one would plug here right into the top. So in your box, you're gonna have a ton of cables and you can go through them and pick out which ones you're gonna be using. You can see that these ones are marked and tell you which cables they are. So it makes it easy. Here's the cables I'm gonna be using today and let's go ahead and plug them into our power supply. So we'll start out with that 24 pin ATX connector there. And the nice thing about this is it's all marked out where it goes on my power supply. So these say type four on the side and you can see it says motherboard up there. So we're gonna go ahead and plug those in. Make sure you're putting them in the, in the correct direction and they kind of snap when they go in there. So you'll hear a little pop just like that. It's pretty quiet. And we'll put that one in there as well, just like that. So that's connected in there. That's the ATX 24 pin. So next up, we'll do the CPU cables. Again, I need two of them for my build. You might only need one of them for your build. And make sure you're grabbing the correct end as well because they are slightly different. And these plug in right here on my power supply. It says CPU. So I'm gonna grab both of those and we're gonna plug them in right here, just like that. And like that. And then the last cables, so I've got my PCIe cable here for my graphics card. I've got a few slots for that. There's one up here and a couple down there. I'll just go ahead and plug that in right here. Again, making sure it is the correct direction. And then I also need that SATA cable. Um, there's the SATA cable and I've got five spots for that. So I'll just plug that one in here as well. Next up, we're gonna decide how we're gonna mount our power supply. So with a power supply like this, the air comes in the top and shoots it out the back of the power supply. So if I mount it in this direction, it's gonna suck the air out of the case and out the back. Now you have to have venting here for that to work. So this case has venting here. So I'm gonna be mounting mine in this direction. If you don't have venting there, you can flip it over as well. And you can see I have venting at the bottom with a dust screen. I could flip it over and that would work as well. But I like to have this on the top if I have that venting right there. So I'll go ahead and slide my power supply in. Just make sure all the cables are kind of out of the way. And it can be a little bit of a tight squeeze because you've got all your cables coming out the back there. Um, so we'll lift them up and get it right into place. We're gonna just lift it into place there and shimmy it to the right spot. And there's four screw holes, one right here, one right there, one right there, and one right there to mount it into place. And my power supply did come with four little screws. So we'll go ahead and put those in. I like to just do them loose and then tighten them all down at the end, just so you can get them all in easier. And then we'll just go ahead and tighten them all down. 
So let's go ahead and start feeding our cables through and making the connections. So I'll start out with my RGB hub because it's here on the back. Now this one again has the SATA connection on it that looks like that. I'll take my SATA cable and connect that. There's a little kind of twist at one end or a turn, a 90 degree turn. Just make sure those line up so it goes on in the correct direction. Now again, if you are installing a hard drive or a solid state drive, you would use one of these to um, connect to that as well. It goes right there on that hard drive or solid state drive. And then we'll go ahead and start feeding the rest of the cables through. So our 24 pin, this hole here is the closest to that. I'll feed that through there. I've got my two CPU power connections. I'll feed those up here in the corner. And my PCIe cable for my graphics card, I'm gonna feed through the bottom down here. Flipping the computer around, we can start plugging in our cables. Again, that 24 pin ATX. Again, make sure you're plugging it in in the correct direction. You don't want to damage any of the pins. It should click right into place just like that. And then of course, we've got the two eight pins up here in the corner. These are probably the hardest ones to plug in just because of the limited space up here. There we go, I've got those plugged in. And now just our PCIe connector for our graphics card. This is again an eight pin. Some of them have two of them and some are actually only six. So you might only use this portion right here. Now this is split. So you're gonna kind of push them together. Make sure you put this in the correct direction because these two pins here can only go in one way. So for myself, they're gonna go like that. They kind of slot together and then we can slide them into place. Just like that, we've got those in there. And that is it, we've got our power supply installed here with all the cables attached. And it's really that simple to install a power supply unit in your PC. So I hope this tutorial was able to help you get your power supply installed in your PC. If this video did help you out, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media and subscribe here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.